இந்த பெஸ்டிவல் சீசனுக்கு பிளாக் பஸ்டர் வண்ணங்களில் Hello Srinivasan sir, how are you? Yeah, thank you. Good evening. And we are happy to have you in our studio. And we got to know and we have researched about you. We have worked in uh, multiple platforms. Uh, so, my age is your experience. <laughs> I want to say that. So, first of all, we want to know about uh, you. Uh, what's your study, background and career and how uh, you are inspired into coming to Indian Railways. See, uh, I did uh, my post-graduation from uh, IIT Karakpur. Then uh, later, uh, through Indian Engineering Services, uh, I joined uh, Railways. I have a fairly long uh, career on Indian Railways of more than uh, 36 years. I worked in various capacities, various places and various positions. And uh, some other important ones being, uh, I was a director in uh, RDSO. That is the Research, Development and Standards Organization of Indian Railways, where I was uh, looking after the um, uh, proportion and controls of the uh, trains. Then uh, I was uh, head of rolling stock on Southern Railway, Chennai, and also on uh, Southeast Central Railway, Bilaspur, uh, mainly looking after the, um, all the rolling stock uh, maintenance operations. Rolling stock means all the coaches, suburban trains, MEMUs, freight cars. I was looking out of that one. Then uh, I was lucky to have a fairly long uh, innings in uh, ICF in various, uh, again, in various positions, uh, in design, in production, planning, uh, like that. Also, uh, later I moved to RCF Kapartla, that is again another uh, major uh, coach manufacturing unit on Indian Railways, where I headed it as a general manager. That's how my, uh, they are the major, major postings of my career. We all know that uh, we have added the Vandiya Bharat design team at the same time. Now we are seeing that uh, successful run through. So tell us about the Vandiya Bharat design process and how it came. Uh, so what are the future plans? See, uh, the first version of Vandiya Bharat, uh, was uh, started uh, during the year 2017 and the project of course culminated in 2018. We made uh, in the version 1 uh, two trains. At the time I was uh, chief design engineer at ICF. In fact design has been my passion. Right as I got a lot of avenues of working like operations, maintenance, production, things like that. But design has been my passion. So I was in uh, ICF in the design uh, department for quite some time. In fact, I headed it for uh, almost eight years. So during uh, 2017, when the railway board actually has communicated the uh, approval for uh, manufacturing of this Vande Bharat uh, trains, so we took, we took it up uh, in right earnest. Uh, see, the Vande Bharat trains uh, are different from the um, normal trains. Normal trains, you have got uh, coaches which are hauled by a locomotive. Generally, a train has got around 22, 22 coaches. Unlike that, Vande Bharat is a train set. And uh, here there is no locomotive. And uh, there is no reversal set or required at the destination. It has got a driver's cabin uh, at both ends. Uh, we have got one cabin this end and one cabin the other end also. And uh, here the powering is done. Uh, if you take our uh, train, Vande Bharat train, every alternate coach, there is a, a powering a motor coach is there. I mean, below that the coach, you got uh, traction motors. So in a 16 car train, we have got uh, eight uh, motor coaches. So the power is distributed uh, along the length of the train. The advantage of uh, this concept is, compared to the normal uh, locomotive hauled trains, is that it gives us very high acceleration uh, by distributing the power across the uh, length of the train. That's how the Bharat uh, train concept is there. But uh, when we were starting to make it, it was a big challenge for us uh, because we never made this uh, such a train in India and it is a fully indigenous uh, train made under the Make in India initiative of Honorable Prime Minister and uh, Honorable Railway Minister. Uh, the project has been totally I mean, designed and manufactured uh, by our Indian engineers 
Uh, so, it is a challenge because we never made such a trade in the past. Even though ICF uh, is the um, world's largest coach manufacturing unit, it primarily manufactures uh, the coaches uh, meant for the local haul trains. So, this is new for them also. So, it is a um, it is a big challenge actually because uh, without having any prior experience to start something of this project, it was a big challenge. And at the same time, uh, we have seen many things in Nande Bharat. Uh, it's a new, completely new, the coaches and the speed and the manufacturing unit, everything is new. So, what is the main difference between uh, the other coaches and Nande Bharat trains? See, if you see the ESP of Nande uh, Bharat trains, uh, number one is the travel experience. Uh, if you travel by Vandabar trains, you get the same experience uh, of traveling in a European train uh, or any other developer country uh, train. In fact, it has uh, redefined uh, the way we travel on uh, trains on Indian railways. And the very fact that, you know, there is a lot of uh, demand for these trains from every state, from every constituency, uh, that itself shows that, you know, this has been uh, very successful. Uh, that is mainly because, you know, we have provided all the features that what is seen in any advanced train uh, anywhere else in the world. And uh, if you see the Vandapar trains, uh, I will say in two categories. One is safety point of view, how they differ from the normal trains and uh, from the comfort point of view. If you see from the safety point of view, this train actually is designed for 160 kmph and uh, in fact we have tested it for 180 kmph successfully. But commercially, we are at 160 kph, maximum uh, permissible speed. So, uh, it has been uh, proved fully for the complete safety at that uh, high speeds. Then uh, inside the coach, we have got, uh, every coach we have got uh, fire and smoke detection uh, sensors are there. So, if any eventuality is there, any other coaches, uh, that is caught by the sensors. And the same thing is immediately communicated to the driver. And an audio-visual alarm is uh, sounded to the driver, so that he can take uh, appropriate action. All our air conditioning units um, in the coach, even the toilets and all the electrical cabinets and the passenger uh, seating area, all have been uh, provided with uh, these uh, sensors. That is a, a big um, safety addition what we have provided in these uh, trains. Then um, in case of any eventuality, you know, any urgency is there, passenger can talk to the driver. So we call them uh, passenger talkback uh, units. Uh, uh, we have got uh, four units in every coach, so the passenger has to go there and uh, press the, the push button there. Uh, then the uh, driver again will get an alert, he will be able to speak to the driver passenger. Not only that, the, um, the coach we have provided uh, inside CCTV cameras. So, automatically the CCTV camera actually captures that uh, particular uh, you know, uh, person who is actually speaking to the driver. So, the driver will be able to, not only will be able to speak to the him or her, but you will be able to see also uh, whoever is speaking. <coughs> this also we have provided as a Asian safety this thing. Then uh, the, every train has got, uh, every coach has got the emergency push buttons. Suppose um, like in a normal train, you have got the alarm chain pulley system is here. Uh, it is similar to that system only. We have got uh, in every train, every coach, you can press the push button and again the alert goes to the driver and you can uh, uh, stop the uh, train. Um, and if we, and also if you see <coughs> how the coaches are uh, joined, unlike normal uh, mainland trains uh, of ICF coaches, here we got uh, CBC, they call it semi-permanent couplers are there. So the semi-permanent couplers are you know, fully uh, coupled, they cannot be opened out uh, in the online normally. They can be openly opened only by a qualified uh, person only with the sufficient tools only. So, these coaches actually cannot be separated also. So, in accidents um, point of view, they are very safe. Then, uh, and one of the another, another point we, you know, what we added is the Kavach. You might have heard of uh, Kavach. It is a um, collision avoidance uh, system. Suppose in the driver overshoots the signal by any reason, due to any reason. The, um, the Kavach equipment in the train senses it and applies the brakes automatically. Mm -hmm. It applies not, uh, automatically not only in this particular train, also on the nearby trains also. So that is called the Kavach system. Uh, Kavach system. Now Indian Railways is now um, implementing in the all the trains and uh, all the network. So all when the trains are being turned out with this uh, Kavach system. Kavach system. So these are the safety, you know, um, 
point of view, whatever measures, whatever we have taken care of on the Vande Bharat, which are more advanced and at par with any other train in the world. Now, if you come to the fashion comfort, uh, you might have seen Vande Bharat trains, if you have travelled, uh, outside you know, we have got the automatic plug doors. Unlike in you know, normal trains where the doors are manually operated, here the doors are operated by the driver only, centrally. So, here there is no footboard to travel uh, possible at all. So, many times, you know, we have accidents due to footboard travel. Yeah. It is absolutely not possible that that is taken care of. And inside the coaches, if you see all the coaches, normally this train has got a configuration of 16 coaches. Yeah. All 16 are completely air conditioned. Then passengers can travel from one coach to another coach through the gangway. We have got a very beautiful uh, gangway there. It looks as though you, there is no any discontinuity when you go from one coast to another coach. It is so smooth, you can travel by that one. Then uh, inside each coach also, we have got uh, touch free, I mean, uh, intercommunication doors are there. When you want to enter to the passenger cabin, passenger uh, area, there is no need to, um, earlier you know, you got the spring operated doors in the normal uh, AC coaches. Here there is no spring operated doors. It is a automatically operated touch free sensor is there, it is there. And, uh, in the toilets, we have provided uh, vacuum toilets, mm. like what you see in the aircrafts, um, similar to that only. Uh, then uh, if you see the lighting part of it, that also has been taken care of very well. Um, it is a multi-level uh, lighting, it, bright lights are there and again uh, dim lighting is there. So all these things, you know, we have, um, when the design is being made, uh, we have thought of all these things by gathering our experience uh, in the past and also by seeing the other trains in elsewhere in the world getting all those, you know, um, information. Then uh, another thing is we have done extensive consultations with our uh, Indian industry. So at every stage, uh, we have involved the Indian industry. And uh, because, you know, unless uh, whatever we design is manufactured by our um, industry partners, it will not be successful. So at every stage of design, we have involved them, starting from the begin beginning to the end and uh, prototyping and etc. So that is how the project you know has been very successful by actively in, I mean involving the Indian industry also. In fact, uh, um, we should appreciate uh, the initiative taken by them also and they also contributed a lot in the success of this uh, uh, project. So these are the major differences compared to the normal uh, train uh, in terms of the safety and in terms of the comfort. And uh, another one is if you say the speed point of view, uh, see, uh, uh, these Vandapara trains coaches have got 160 kmph speed potential. Yeah. Um, but more than the speed, uh, what actually sets them apart is the acceleration. In the conventional language, you can call them as a, it's like pickup. Pick uh, yeah. You see here, Vandapara train will pick up 100 kmph speed in less than 50 seconds. Less than 15? Yeah, yeah. 100 kmph yeah, speed, seconds. it will uh, pick up with less than 50 seconds. So that is how it happens. A normal train, it takes uh, quite some time. And if you see either here, the acceleration, uh, in technical terms, we call it acceleration. It is 0.8 uh, meters per second square. Okay. But whereas uh, uh, normal, you know, low call trains will be having somewhere around 0 0.25, 0 0.3 meters per second square. That is a type of acceleration. And also, deceleration also is uh, 1 meters per second square in this one of the trains. So, what happens when the train is going on a track? Our track, even though it is generally the track and is fit for 130 kmph. Sometimes at some places it is 160 also, but generally it is 130 kmph. But it is not always at 130. See, there is a curvature, there is a curvature will be there. Yeah. Like, uh, they, then the speed has to come down. That means the driver has to observe the speed restriction, what we call. Suppose there are bridges are there, which are very old. There also we have to uh, reduce the speed go or that uh, goes slow. Yeah. So like that, you know, when the train goes, the driver has to observe a lot of cautions with respect to the speed. So advantage with Vandya Bharat train is that it has got tremendous acceleration and has got tremendous deceleration. So for every restriction of this kind, it will be able to save, you know, more than uh, uh, one and a half to two minutes like that. Mm -hmm. So in a journey time, so large number of restrictions will be there. So it will be able to save a lot of time with respect to the, I mean, compared to the conventional local train. This is the major advantage of Vandya Bharat trains. See, when we introduced the first Vandya Bharat train between uh, Delhi to um, Delhi to Benares. Uh, it was able to, you know, cover uh, each direction within eight hours. It goes in the morning, uh, six o'clock from Delhi, which is around 14 hours Benares. Again, starts from there in the afternoon, after half an hour gap. Again, it comes back in the night. 
that is almost 8 hours only it is uh, taking in each direction. Mm. And it is and earlier uh, before Bandha Bharat the fastest train on that section is taking 12 hours. It took 12 hours to reach that. Uh, earlier, earlier trains. Okay. But whereas Vandha Bharat uh, it takes even today is only 8 hours. 8 hours. So, wherever you know you have got maximum mo more number of restrictions. In fact, the better it is for the Vandha Bharat train because you know it will be able to save that much uh, extra time because of the higher uh, acceleration and the higher uh, deceleration. So, braking time is less and also acceleration time also is less. That is another advantage of uh, Vandha Bharat uh, trains. So, when we are uh, talking about the duration to reach the one place to some other place, uh, you have say, uh, you have mentioned that. So, what is the challenge to rearrange the tracks? Because uh, trains are going in a 130 to 160 km speed, right? So, so many old tracks are there. So, we have to modify that uh, based on the Vandya Bharat speed. So, how it was a challenge for you to change the entire track system? You see, uh, earlier, you know, um, the maximum speed generally uh, is uh, 110 kmph on our main lane tracks. Now, uh, most of the tracks have been upgraded to 130 kmph. Now, um, the ministry is thinking of upgrading uh, important uh, sections, important sections like Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi, Calcutta to start with to 160 kmph. That is operating the uh, tracks with respect to the speed. Number two, um, when you run the trains at high speeds, like on the bar train, um, we have faced, you know, the menace from the cattle. Um, so, when the train is running at such a speed, we have to uh, take care that, you know, there is no cattle uh, coming in its way. So, um, what happens is, at a such a high speed, it damages the uh, train equipment and also the train uh, uh, front part, what you call it, of no scone part of it, that also is damaged. And also the, the equipment below the train also get uh, affected. So the um, fencing also has to be done. So in vulnerable areas already the fencing uh, also has uh, started. So these two areas uh, we are concentrating. One is uh, upgrading the speed potential already to 130 kmph, mostly are reached. And uh, now gradually we will be going to 160 kmph. Then the vulnerable areas will be, we are already start, uh, doing the fencing of the tracks so that uh, cattle menace is, uh, you know, taken care of. So, in this modernized era, we have modernized Vande Bharat too. So, that time, how uh, it was difficult to create a prototype for this Vande Bharat train, how the design was made, how long it took to reach uh, that prototype model and execute the first Vande Bharat train. Yeah. See, um, the first challenge is, you know, it is a Make in India uh, initiative and um, the project has been completely conceived, designed and executed by Indian engineers. And uh, we never made uh, such a train in the past uh, before this. So, even though I have had experience of making large number of coaches uh, for the mainline uh, trains, but this is a totally new um, challenge and uh, we have actually some experience of uh, working on suburban trains. Uh, they have some similarities with respect to the electrical propulsion. So that is that, that is there. ICF has made large number of suburban trains. That advantage is there. And then uh, we before Vande Bharat, we have made uh, air conditioned uh, suburban trains. Now they are running in uh, Mumbai. Uh, they also have automatic uh, doors both outside and uh, yeah, outside uh, sliding doors are there. So like that, some uh, projects what we executed earlier, uh, we have got some experience, but that is not uh, sufficient at all for uh, doing the Vandapara trains. So um, basically it is a, uh, I, can, I tell you that it is a more of a brainstorming process among our own uh, design team internally and also uh, with the industry also. Uh, see, the industry, you know, has been uh, involved in making these trains or uh, supplying the components of these trains elsewhere. So, we have we extensive discussions with them, uh, as I was mentioning to you earlier, at every stage of our designing. So, we had uh, roped them in also and then uh, we have incorporated these uh, features. Uh, some of the features, you know, uh, are based on my experience, like when I went abroad or uh, like that. Once, you know, I travelled uh, some country outside, there, uh, uh, traveling in high speed train, 
when the train comes to uh, a stop before the doors open you know a sliding uh, step uh, comes out okay. that bridges the gap between the train and the platform, platform. so um, that is in my memory so when we executed this uh, when we are designing this project so we have talked to the concerned uh, concerned, concerned industry partners to do this yes we have done it like that you know uh, each of these items we have got some some experience and uh, done it like that um, like uh, like you know these uh, toilets i was mentioning you the vacuum toilets mm -hmm. uh, they are actually not uh, being made at the time in india to that uh, quality standards so some of these at the time had to be taken from uh, outside sources but made in india we got them actually assembled and then uh, made in india so it was a challenge actually for each of these uh, items um, if i in fact if i for the interior design we had taken some consultancy and at the time the manufacturer of the interiors we had uh, involved him also at every stage see another challenge in this is the time frame uh, see we have got this project sanctioned in uh, april may 2017 and in flat 18 months we have rolled out this uh, first uh, train so to do it in such a short time actually is uh, also not uh, easy in a project of this nature normally takes 3 to 4 years outside uh, india if you see even though they are actually making this uh, trains regularly in the past also they will take 3 to 4 years we have to execute this in 18 months just 18 months yeah yeah 18 months okay. since the word you know the sanction has come from uh, railway board it is really uh, you know uh, a very big achievement for us not only that we have done it uh, very well very successfully and also we have done it in the uh, record time actually mm, even the other multinational companies also really wonder that how we could execute this in such a short time see we have got a very good team in uh, icf uh, while executing this uh, project everybody has put their heart into the heart into it and they forgot about their uh, weekends saturdays and sundays and i remember you know in the 2018 uh, october uh, when the first train was rolling out before that a few days before that um, we had uh, we had vijay dasmi and we had dipavali and all of us were in the shop floor on the festival days also that is a kind of you know motivation that is a kind of enthusiasm that is a kind of zeal actually with which the whole organization everybody in the organization has actually worked on this uh, project and uh, when the train was um, subjected to the statutory trials mm -hmm. of you know at 180 kmph it was done in kota to sawai madhapur section and uh, you would have seen it a glass of water you know filled with the brim has been kept uh, on the snack table etc and absolutely there is no spill out so so smooth riding and uh, without any problem flawlessly you know it has uh, run then uh, you know another credit actually uh, i'll give to our uh, design manufacturing and also our industry is that Uh, these trains actually when we were introducing first time in uh, delhi banaras section we were having a slight apprehension that you know we are uh, having only one train at that time in the beginning and that is uh, put into service if there is any problem you know uh, there is no standby actually there is no standby train immediately at that time normally in normal trains may what happens is that uh, if there is a problem in one coach then we detach it and put another coach then run the train here that is not possible because you know whole train all the 16 coaches are fully integrated with uh, you know uh, as as a, as a unit you cannot easily take it out so we were wondering that how it will happen fair and all that but uh, uh, to our pleasant surprise the train ran uh, very well there is no problem at all not in a single day has been lost uh, on this train uh, on these two trains one is vande bharat train from uh, delhi to banaras another one is delhi to katra um vishnu devi katra vishnu devi that is the destination first two trains have been introduced they run flawlessly without any problem so that shows you know the uh, the design capability of our 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 uh, icf engineers and also our indian uh, industry also and uh, uh, another thing you know i like to add you here that the cost of the train even though um, it is not our actually priority when we started off this project but uh, if you see uh, the train uh, uh, what we made here is um, 
30 to 40 percent uh, less costly compared to you know a train uh, of similar nature if you get uh, from outside. That also is another um, advantage actually, even though that was not our primary uh, focus. Festival season ke blockbuster one angle. Labrash tissue, dhoti shirts.